Hello everybody, waiting for YouTube. Hello everybody, it's Esty's time. Can you guys see me or not? Yeah, I think I better push it closer so you can see me closer. Isn't that better? Okay, guys, today I'm making a Russian food. It's called beef. Biashi, all right. Beef, biashi. It is a recipe that I just found. Uh, actually, I have a friend from Russia. She used to make some Russian food, and sometimes we eat together. It was a long time ago, and this is practically a mini pie that is wrapped with some raw beef, and it's going to be fried, pan fried on a pan. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, before I do that, let me just give shout out while waiting for the rest of the people to come in. Uh, hopefully, I hope this will take less than an hour because I already actually prepared, pre prepared this, uh, and I'm going to show you what other things that you need. The ingredient is so simple, you won't believe it. All right. So before we do that, let's give a free shout out to those of you who just signed up for my, uh, my YouTube channel. Hi and also Facebook. All right, so those of you who is on YouTube, San San, Richard Tan, Radila Karisti C, Wei Ling, John Lee, Nabilazi, Emma Ledge, To, Mahap Makuki. Oh, this is a very strange name. <laughs> Ganasilam and Chao Tai Chien. And also Emma Paradam Paradams. Never heard of this name. Paradams is a very nice name. And Pira Pira, I think this is a Thai. Uh, Ve Vegas Ho, Doris Tan, uh, Dansa Olaf Slim, uh, C. L. Kenlas, uh, Yvonne Liu, Chihori Yuri. This is sounds like Japanese. Web, Seb Web, Seb. I think it's probably Sebastian if I'm not wrong. Penpot, Habres, Sign, Constance, Constance, Nicole, June, and G Queen, and then we have a Sirivi Raswarin D. <laughs> oh, it's so difficult to pronounce. And Julia, Lisa Julanti. Okay, this I can. A lot of strange name here, guys. A lot of strange name. But please forgive me if I write this, if I pronounce this incorrectly. All right, please forgive me. So today we are going to do this dish, and I'm going to quickly jump onto that. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what I have actually prepared. The bread, guys. This is the bread. Hmm. I didn't expect it to rise so fast, so it's we are going to use this as our pie pastry, and also uh, and also some minced beef, right? So just right before I do that, uh, I have also did a sauce, which is really really simple, very easy to make, and this is going to be eaten together with this meat pie, and I'm going to explain to you how to do that. The recipes, the full recipes, is already in my website so you don't have to go and search it's actually in the video description and those of you who is in youtube you probably seen it later directly after the show all right so guys did you guys notice my backdrop i have made some arrangement here i have put this the now uh, corner where we are doing because i noticed some people they say hey what are they what is she doing why is she cooking so instead of explaining everything all over again, I'm going to just put it out there so you know that this show, what is it all about. So right now, it's going to be live cooking. And also, over on my left hand side, I have a 7 days um, wild food experience in Sweden. So if you guys have been following me, you guys know that I'm really passionate about wild food and I and very crazy about you know the nature uh, and I'm offering a seven days retreat for anyone who are interested to learn about wild food like how to forage for your food so this is like a seven days retreat where everything is provided except for the airfare you have to fix your own airfare 
but to come here I will pick you up at the airport and from there all the meals are provided all the all the excursion all the um, um, how do you say that the time with me is already included so uh, I hope you guys can take advantage of this launch offer which is going to expire soon on Monday uh, and uh, it is buy three and then you just pay for two it means to say that if you come three percent you only pay for the price of two and it's only before you book them before 15th of May all right so take advantage of that and also if you have any questions please feel free to send me a comment or on the PM or private message I'll try to answer you at Facebook or at YouTube and also you guys probably notice bed and breakfast right so you guys know Airbnb is really really in now and I am so glad that I'm in with Airbnb and TripAdvisor hi welcome so this is uh, my apartment and this apartment is ready for rental uh, currently we have two properties and if you check my Airbnb uh, status uh, I have two properties the one property which is in this apartment is a three big uh, is considered three room apartment with two bedrooms one kitchen a balcony a hall and a living room and a small storage so I did a tour before and uh, don't miss it if you want to uh, consider renting it all right so and also guys if you notice here I have a actually it's written up here I'm gonna bring it down and show it to you so this uh, video is actually supported by my uh, fans who have supported me at patreon so with all the things that I could afford to make this show we really need help to, uh, to for some investor who think that uh, you like the idea and you want to give some support the support can be as little as one dollar per month so I hope you guys can support me on that all right so let's jump into the live streaming okay let me just put this back properly so that I won't get knocked off by the <laughs> okay so guys uh, Monday Wednesday Friday is my live streaming and I'm going to uh, going away uh, for one week so I, it means that I will not be doing any cooking live streaming uh, usually at least once a week I will do some uh, cooking show here uh, teach you guys how to do healthy international cuisine all right so now let me just do the meat okay we have to marinate the meat which is ground beef I have about 400 grams of ground beef and uh, Usually in Sweden, it's really, really, uh, it's quite cheap compared to Asia. So to marinate the ground beef, I'm actually using this product. It's called the Truffles Oil. So I'm just going to just put a few drops. You don't really need a lot. You just need a few drops. So instead of sesame oil, I'm going to try using this. This is a Truffles Oil. Hey, thank you for the heart at YouTube. And also the thumbs up. So I'm going to use just a few uh, droplets and salt, alright, you need salt. So I'm going to put about uh, just enough, about one teaspoon. And over here, we have some coriander. Uh, I have about one teaspoon. Uh, all you need to do now is to mix everything together. And then... What I would like to add is some green. You guys know, right? I like green. So actually, I'm supposed to add some water. But before I do that, let me just show you what are the green that I'm going to add. I'm going to add some parsley or you can add some shirancho. I'm going to add quite a bit of this, which is the chopped parsley. This is the frozen one. Uh, I usually buy a lot and then I keep them so I don't have to go to the market save the environment don't have to spend some time on the patrol all right and also you need some water and i've forgotten to add the water so i'm going to take my water 
from my tap directly and I'm going to just pour some water here all right pour a little bit because sometimes those uh, meat can be a little bit tricky you just make sure that you don't pour so much all right so just mix this around until it's all even so i'm gonna pour a little bit more water this is a really uh easy food where you can make in advance uh, i would think it's very perfect if you have a sunday brunch you can make this like on saturday evening before you go to bed and then put them in the refrigerator and the mix up morning you just need to fry them all right so easy right so i'm just going to try out this recipe uh, uh i got this recipe from a girl uh, her name is ella uh, ella yami she's a russian uh, she's also a youtuber giving her a shout out here for uh, the credit that she has put in a lot of effort she really recently just got burned her hand i hope she's okay uh, all right guys you want this to be slightly light so i'm gonna add slightly a little bit more so not too much yeah just make sure that it's not like so tight and uh must uh heavy you just want to lighten the beef a little bit Mm. I can smell the the fragrance of uh, let me just try mm. uh, I can smell the fragrance of the uh, truffle oil it's really really uh, fragrance so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna tell you what I have on this tomato all right so I bought tomato which is really big one at two dollar <laughs> per kilo can you imagine and then i use just two of these to make this sauce and what it is inside practically it is just two tomato two garlics and then some uh, chopped onion uh, a little bit a pinch of salt that's it you don't need more so just put them in the food processor mix them and this is all ready to be used all right so i'm going to put this aside the recipe is already in the website so you can check that out so i'm going to put this as uh, one side so i will spill it okay guys now it's time to have some fun uh, i don't know whether i could do this myself but i'm going to try all right and if i need help i'll just ask for my lg to come and help me so this is the bread you just use like the way you make a normal bread so uh, it is actually made of yogurt or you can use sour cream uh, vegetable oil or flour a little bit of salt and also some water that's it right very easy mix everything together into like a dough put them aside and let them rise for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes and then take it out and then divide them like I did divide them into pieces usually I don't think so it will rise I don't know why it rises maybe it's because of the yeast so it's rising quite a lot so I'm really really uh, curious you know if I'm gonna fry this will this even rise even more so it will be exciting to see so cut them into small balls put them on the plastic bag and just let them rest because when you let them rest long time enough the bread will tend to be more puffy uh, it's already been puffy now so i'm just I can't wait to start this so i'm going to take out the paper oh you see if you didn't put flour on top it will get stuck all right and this is what you don't want to i forgot to put the flour on top and and of course i didn't expect this to rise so much all right, so I'm going to just remove one piece and then the other piece. Okay, so put this away. I'll throw this and then, oh no, it's all messed up together. So I'm going to try. 
All right, the table is clean. Make sure your table is really clean. And I'm going to start off with the side. And maybe I might need uh, some help here. We'll see what happens. A bit of flour, and I like to roll them like a circle. And usually I like to do all at one time. <laughs> That's the fastest way. You just knead them and roll them. I hope people are hungry here. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten my lunch. I've been working the whole day and um, do some packing. Really um, didn't really have time to eat. So I'm really hungry. And let me just pack everything. Okay. Some people uh, have uh, written to me and asked me how do they uh, subscribe? How come they don't get the uh, notification when they are uh, when I'm on live? How come they never get notification? Like I said, guys, you have to uh, put the notification on, uh, especially if you are from YouTube, there is a subscribe button. And just beside the subscribe button, there is a bell. Uh, all you need to do is just to put the bell on so that it will ring when the minute I go on live. All right, it's really that simple. And for those of you who is in Facebook, you can also do the same by liking my page at Chocoholics Live TV. And all you need to do is to make sure that uh, that uh, video uh, for notification for all posts, if possible, put all posts, uh, select that, and then you know, and whenever I go on live, you should be able to see me. I'm gonna put everything there so that I could quickly do this all at one time. I usually like to do everything at one time so that it's more less time consuming because if you want to do this one and then your hand get dirty again so it's quite troublesome so I just need to make sure you roll this around I'm going to add more flour last two Okay, I actually wanted to do a, a live streaming about how I pack my bag, but later I think, oh my goodness, maybe some people are even better than me. <laughs> I'm not that so good in when I pack my bag. Uh, I like to learn, so I've been learning how to pack my bag. So guys, take one of this, all right, this is about, I don't know, maybe about 25 grams so just put them on the pan uh, just put them on a paper with flour or a box with flour and what I have is just a normal rolling pin you just roll them making sure that they are uh, evenly the, the thickness or oh, you have to put more flour right on the on the pin too so just roll them out like this okay so all you need to do now is to put the pie i'm going to roll this out even more all right so make sure it's quite thin but not too thin approximately uh, 0 0.5 centimeter in terms of thickness so i'm just going to put about one spoonful and you have to count i think i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten together so usually what i do is that i re divide this in advance <laughs> so that you know it's not too little so i have one two three so i know roughly how much i need so in this case that may be too much so i'm going to reduce the amount all right, about this 
about one tablespoon full. Okay, and all you need to do is to knead them so that there is a circle in the center. So I don't know if you can see properly, but I'm just going to flip this, push this out a little bit so that I could knead them. Like the way you knead the curry puff. <laughs> Like all oh, the pow, you know, if you guys know what pow is, like the pow. So all you need to do is to make sure you have a hole in the center, all right? Just like the pow. And then if you like, you can press them a little bit. And don't fry them at the same time because you're going to do everything all at one time. So this is done. All right, I'm going to put this at the side. So you can flat, flatten it a little bit if you like. LG lady need to come and learn it. I don't think so he need to help me. I think I can manage this myself. I'm really, really glad that uh, uh, some of you shared my live streaming. Hi! I can't read your... My hand is dirty. Can you sign me the comment again? Uh, I, and when I'm doing this work, you know, sometimes I miss out on the comment. So, please, if you have any questions, uh, make sure my face is up here on the screen. <laughs> and then you send comment. Because uh, I will not be able to see your comment, especially if uh, you are not on the super chat. Uh, but if you are on the super chat, you can uh you can have your comment longer, and Facebook allowed you to do that. And how do you do that? You can actually buy super chat, uh, the amount that you uh, think that you can afford. But you don't need to do that. Uh, but of course, if you do, and if you'd like to support me, you can do that too. All right. All you need to do is just flatten this. <laughs> It, it's quite fun actually <laughs> so I'm gonna put everything to the table here make sure you have some flour on top so that it will not stick to the bottom all right I'm gonna read that comment later because my hand is dirty and I don't want to dirty my phone and I don't want to get distracted so I'm just gonna try and make everything neatly so that I could fry them. Okay, about one tablespoon. This is something like uh, in the Swedish, it's like uh, the Chinese is called a pao, but then this is the Russian pao. Or the, the Swedish, we call it a pirog. Alright, very easy, isn't it? It's so easy. Just make sure you have some powder on the bottom. The one thing about YouTube, I noticed when you guys send me comment, uh, the comment will not stay there. Whereas uh, people who is from Facebook, the comment will stay there. I think maybe YouTube need to do something about that. But maybe also because they are trying to uh, get you guys to pay for comment. So your comment can stay longer. Which is also another way to support the content creator. So about one tablespoon. Uh -huh, a bit more. A bit too stingy. So I'm going to heat up the pan real soon because this is going to be done soon all right so i'm gonna on the pan now so that i can fry them let me just on the pan here and and let's try and see if i can heat up the pan uh lock it and then on it one i'm gonna 
on to quite high from the beginning because I want to heat up the pan really fast and I'm going to put on some oil all right this is not a deep uh, stir, deep fried one uh, I've seen the Russian recipe they deep fry I don't think so we need to do that so I'm going to flatten this uh, pirogue a little bit more so that we don't have to deep fry them all right and I'm going to do one more before I put them in the pan I, I still have difficulties pronouncing this it's called Bia Bliyashi Bliyashi <laughs> Although those uh, Russian people is going to throw an egg at me uh, Bliyashi, am I right? <laughs> Okay, Briyashi sounds really Russian. Uh, I haven't really done a lot of recipes on my YouTube channel uh, on Russian food, and I hope I can do more often. Uh, if you guys like Russian food, send me a comment, and if you have any food that you want me to make, uh, I like to have the comment too. So that I can consider uh, making it if I can find the recipes here, uh, I, uh, the ingredients here. And if you have a recipe, you can send it to me too. Alright, so I'm going to just flatten this and I'm going to add more because the center seems to be going to the side. So that's it. Okay, I'm going to just Heat this up, making sure that the bread is quite flat. Alright, guys, exciting, right? So I'm going to turn this and I'm going to just fry them and make it a bit more flat. <laughs> I'm going to turn and have the meat facing uh, the pan, the oil. Two more. I'm gonna flatten this even more. <gasps> oh no, the meat came out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna flatten this, put them here. Flatten this at the side. This. One more. So, that. Okay, so make sure the hot, the oil is not too hot, okay? I'm going to reduce the pan now. I think it's a bit too hot. And then I'm just going to let this cook. I'm going to turn this in a while. This looks like it's going to be ready anytime. So if, if you have any great recipes and you want me to teach you how to do that and if I can do that, I'll try, alright? My best to teach you. Let me just put one more. Oh, it's a lot. It's quite big this one. So I'm going to put more meat and I'm going to close this up. This is so fun to make, I find. <laughs> it's so easy to make. Let's see if it tastes as good. I want to flip this one. Oh, guys, look at that. How beautiful is that? It's too hot. It's too hot. I have to lift this up a bit. Alright, it's too hot. It looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. I can't wait to try this. And then, what the Russian did is that they put uh, the oil inside the meat. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Alright, they try and put the meat in so that you know the oil get into it. But uh, I don't know whether it's a good idea to do that. Let me just try. 
Hopefully it just don't sink into the bread. Alright, I'm just going to try the first batch and see what happened. And then I'm going to do this one. I have reduced the heat a little bit because I don't want this to be burned. It's really fast actually. I think I'm going to put more meat on this one. So I have three more. So let's be a bit generous. I'm going to put more meat on this last three. Oh, so easy. Goodness me. I didn't think that this is so easy. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get ready with my plate. Uh, I think I may need uh, some flour. Watch out, alright? Watch out for the cake. Don't let, don't let it get off and burn, then it's not so nice. Make sure it's not burned. So I have about three left, so I'm going to try and be more generous with the meat. Mm. Hopefully this is not too much. I think it's okay. So if we are coming back and we have some Greek recipes, uh, I'm going to share them with you. Uh, this trip, uh, we are, we will be going with, not going, we will be meeting a local guy. Her name is Stella. She's a Greek. So she said that she's going to bring us to some villages. So it will be very fun and exciting for us because we never, we've been to Greek Swamp but we've never been into the, the villages. So it will be very fun to see how the people in the village eat. Oh, it's getting burned. Let me just see, alright, if I need to. I think this is done. Guys, I don't want to burn this. I think this is done. So I'm going to collect this. Alright, I'm going to turn this a bit more because this one looks like it needs some. I just hope that I don't get myself hurt. Ooh. Okay. Um, you know why? Because of the water inside the meat. Oh, this one looks perfect. Look, guys. Isn't that beautiful? So, oh, this is done. This is done too. So, I'm going to just turn this off for a while. And I'm going to make the last two, right? I'm going to off this a while. Because it's making a lot of sound. And when I'm done with these two, we'll have a taste how it tastes like and how it looks like from the inside. It's so easy, my goodness. Okay, so last one. <laughs> so easy, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to flip this and I'm very, very fast when I work. I like to work fast. Okay, the last one. Just nice, right? Just hope that this one will not explode. <laughs> wow, I like to have this last one. It's a lot of meat in there. <laughs> See who's the lucky fella. Okay, now on the heat again, I'm going to arm it to medium so that it will not burn like the last time. Let the meat <laughs> give it a smack and then put them in here. Alright, snack them. Ah. Okay, snap them, put them down, 
that down. And I'm gonna put the last one in. Make sure you close it tight, okay? And I'll put them in. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's so puffy, my goodness. Look, MJ, look how beautiful it is. I'm hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat them. Okay, let's have a taste. You want to have a taste? You can sit here. I can fry. And let's have a taste. Can you take a plate? More big. Uh, uh, maybe I can bring this up a bit. It's so the mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. oh. That would be done. Otherwise, take the small long one up there, the white one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that too. Uh, no, not that one, I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that one. <laughs> LG, you can read, read my mind sometimes, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you? Maybe. I think you are good in reading my mind. Okay, let me just flip this. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It looks so pretty. Huh? It looks so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, this is the better batch. So I just need to move them around. I just hope that it is cooked. That's why I want to have a taste test here. And let's see. Can you take a... Maybe I have one here. And we can try and eat this. You can have a seat here. Down and come and have a seat here. And let's see if LG like it. Now the fun part. Huh? Now the fun part. Now the fun part. <laughs> okay, now guys. Let's see All right, if LG like this. Mmm. Let's see. See, yeah? I'm really excited. You have to eat them with this sauce. Okay. This is just tomato, garlic, and uh, some herbs. Mm -hmm. Like uh, parsley. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I have a scallion in this. Scallion. Uh, yeah, it means. Uh, Grass leg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it cooked or not? In here? Is it cooked? Mm. Maybe inside it's not very cooked. Mm, not really. Okay, we have to recook them. You know, you have to open up and see if they are really cooked. Uh, in this case, I would prefer to cook them even more longer. Maybe because the first patch was a bit too hot. The the pan. Can I have a taste mm -hmm. and see if it is good? Mm. With the meat and the sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Really it's good. very good. Yes. yes. Oh my. This was not the last time. I'm not going to make this a last time. This is going to be the first time and it's going to be more often. Yes. <laughs> it's so delicious, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip this. Making sure that this cooks properly so I have actually reduced on the heat. And I, I noticed when I fry them for the second time, uh, when the heat is not too hot, it tends to be much much thicker and I think also because the second time uh, the meat I had was much more I'm going to reduce the heat here it's getting darker okay this one I have to put a little bit more Maybe. so let's try this second batch right because this is lesser Oh, you are eat, going to finish already. I haven't even started yet. Let me just try one more. Mm. 
Oh. oh my goodness. The beef is slightly raw. Mm. I think it's good. Mmm. Mmm. The meat is not raw, it's what this one you saw. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. Guys, this is definitely worth trying this recipe, right? Definitely. I urge you to try them because I really like it. I didn't think that it would be so nice. I'm gonna refry this. And this time I'm going to cook them in a lower heat. So that it is cooked this time. Lower the heat, alright? And I'm going to get this out. And this one, right? This is the earlier one. Just to make sure that you don't want to keep them raw. Okay, we take this one then. But this is going to be really hot. What a service, yeah? Yeah. You're eating from the directly from the pan. My God. Okay, I'm gonna off this now. Okay, because I don't want to. Oh, this is raw too. Um. No, yeah. A little bit oh, raw. Yeah. Maybe you know what we can do? We can cut them and then just fry them. Or maybe we can even put them in the microwave. Yeah. Because the inside, guys, the, the thickness of the meat is too thick. All right, Make sure you don't have too thick on the meat. Let me just fry this again. So make sure you don't have the meat too thick. Because if the meat is too thick, it might have a problem. You might have a problem uh, having them ready. But you know, some people they like it raw. Yeah. So, but I don't like it raw. I, I prefer it to be properly cooked. This is probably more properly cooked now. Okay, guys. Remember, all right? The meat it shouldn't be too thick. The bread is just okay. The bread is cooked, right? Not really? Okay, you have to cook a little bit more. Maybe a less, little water. Uh, less uh, bread. Okay, lesser bread. Okay. And lesser, lesser beef. Lesser bread, lesser beef. Make the bread even thinner. Mm. Alright, guys, have to go. We have to eat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please give us thumbs up. And do share this, and I want to take a bit, take a picture of this, so I can do a, like a thumbnail. LG's face is in the shadow. <laughs> Am I in the shadow? Yes, you are in the shadow. Mm. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Bye See guys. you next week. And if you guys want to uh, catch me live randomly, sign up for my Facebook and like my page and also remember to subscribe so that whenever we go on live when we are in uh, Greece you can watch us there uh, we will try to do live streaming whenever the chance is possible all right see you bye see you. let me just off this can you off this over there Oh, you are already full. <laughs> okay.